hello all once again. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, your favorite source for all things lumber and construction, U.S. housing specifically, which came out yesterday. It's just the middle of May right now. And I'm going to give you a little update of the construction activity in the U.S. for last month compared to what the lumber prices are doing now this month to give you an idea of what to expect going forward. So the headlines for the housing were saying it's down uh, in April uh, compared to March, but really it was flat. I mean, it was down by such a small amount that you could say uh, construction activity was very stable in April compared to in March. However, looking at the numbers more closely, there is a huge increase in total starts, single family starts, total permits, and single family permits compared to one year ago. So if you're looking at the year over year data, which is a really better metric because of course monthly there's gonna be fluctuations, uh, building will go up and down sort of month by month, definitely in the season. So the um, first four months of 2021 shows approximately 25% increase in construction activity compared to the first four months of 2020. And um, comparing month to month, April total housing starts and single family housing starts, each one is up 67% compared to April last year. Now, of course, we know that one year ago, the restrictions due to the COVID, uh, the pandemic, the social distancing, the shutdowns of industry and all those things were already in effect. So that did cause a decrease in all sorts of industrial activity, but specifically in housing for a couple of months there for uh, mostly for April and May of 2020. Um, so the increase this year compared to last year looks big, but it would look big anyway, even if that um, slowdown hadn't happened. In terms of permits, as I keep telling you, um, permits are an excellent indicator of construction activity in two months. And again, not every single permit becomes a start. However, this year so far, a higher ratio of permits have actually become starts. We'll see if that still stays the same. It's not just lumber prices or even all building material prices, all of which are up, which are causing uh, problems for builders. It is other things like getting lots to build on is extremely difficult. The inventory of lots for building in the US is very tight and also for workers. So even at the sawmills and on the building sites, Employment uh, is uh, not as robust as the uh, uh, employers would like, and they're having a hard time finding skilled trades to fill the positions that they need. So uh, permits in April uh, for total construction activity were up 61%, and permits for single family were up 58%. So, and that's compared to one year ago, that's compared to April of 2020. So here you go, plain as day. The black line, it's down in the latest data point, but if you look across to one year ago at April of 2020, that's a pretty huge drop, which took most of last year to recover. And the gray line there below it is the um, single family starts, uh, same idea. Uh, but watch the lumber prices, the three colored lines, they keep going up and housing starts we expect as well. Don't be scared by this. This is the benchmark Western Spruce 2x4 price from 1997 to today. Just to give some historical context, those other graphs are just from 2018 to the present. So you can see truly lumber prices were low. They look high now, but it all depends on your context. Once again, the same uh, commodity, Western Spruce 2x4, the pink line being 2019, as I said before, was not a good year for lumber or for housing. Uh, 2020, the yellow line went up to some highs in third quarter there, dropped, and then immediately shot right back up to the blue line. Where will it go? Not likely to go much higher, honestly. Here we see those five commodities that I talk about all the time, lumber and the one panel, 
plywood prices. I put all this data on my website, madisonsreport.com. Uh, every week you can just go look, uh, take your time to see what is the price now compared to the price one week ago, one month ago, and then compared to the price one year ago. Prices a year ago were high compared to the year before and compared to history. And finally, the most important metric for lumber prices is the single family activity. So the black line is one unit single family housing starts and the gray line is permits for single family matching pretty closely and you can see the lag of the, that data compared to my lumber prices. My lumber prices are going up right now in May. Next month in June we'll see what was the May starts and permits. Fabulous and so that tells you a lot. Um, what I said at the beginning the uh, housing starts total and single family, the permits total and single family are up between 60 and 67 percent year over year. Lumber prices for the benchmark Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4, number two and better, they're up 356 percent. However, it's an economy of scale. So if lumber prices went from barely 600 to 15 or 1600, and house prices went from, where were they, about 290000 to more than 330000 last month, does the customer really care very much if the price of the lumber that went into that house cost 20000 or 40000 You know, these things, there is a lot of sort of commentary and discussion about how lumber prices are driving up the price of homes. Lumber prices are high because demand is high. Demand is high because construction and home buying is high. So the market sets the price. There's no uh, collusion or anything strange going on. Um, the home buying and building activity in the, in, in the U.S. and Canada is just going like gangbusters. Doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. It's only May. Construction activity, you know, goes through the summer until around August when it gets really hot and things start to slow down. But if the weather does not get bad in autumn, construction can just go on right ahead as it did last year, right up until December. The really bad weather didn't hit until January or February of this year. So we'll see what happens. The um, There is a ceiling. Lumber prices can't, I said this before, they can't just go up forever. People are like, oh, it's going to get to 2000 The same people who last year were like, oh, no, it's never going to get to 1000 Now they're like, oh, is it going to get to 2000 If you don't know what you're talking about, just listen and pay attention and maybe don't make videos or write about it when you don't really know what you're saying. So to the people who are putting out noise that is not informed and then makes people confused and they come on to my YouTube or go onto my website and they're like, finally, someone who knows what they're talking about. Stay tuned, subscribe to my YouTube. If you really want to know what's happening with lumber, every Friday, the 450 individual lumber and panel commodity prices are updated, as well as the commentary, which lets you know why those lumber prices are changing. Go on my website to the subscribe. I'll put a link in my caption here and we can get you um, signed on for the dashboard. Otherwise, uh, next week, um, the housing sales and house prices are going to come out. I'll have a lot more to say. I'll have some graphs uh, of that compared to my lumber prices. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.